And uh, uh, Wayne is my favorite person to work with, though, because it's just, ooh, ooh, little Wayne, he's just too good. It's very feminine, and it lowers your testosterone. But let's say Drake was gay or some shit. Like Everybody like likes him. Drake, at least a little bit. They think his music's pretty good. A yeah. lot of people would stop listening to him. That didn't change the quality of the music. Today is three sexual orientations out here. It's gay, straight, and Drake. Once again, the internet has been taken by the storm with gay allegations against famous celebrities. Well, this time our favorite one, Drake, is facing the burnt of it. The monument of the music industry is under fire because of his recent alleged lesbian confession in his single Girls Want Girls. Drake's suspicious social media activity is also not helping one bit. Thanks to all the stigma and prejudice against LGBT in this industry, many fans believe these outrageous rumors to be true. So sit tight, guys, because we've got the juiciest details to this scandal that will surely knock your socks off. The Canadian rapper, Aubrey Drake Graham, otherwise known as Drake, has been a pop culture phenomenon for years, but his recent music and public statements have sparked discussion. The rumors regarding his sexuality started gaining momentum when Drake posted pictures of his freshly manicured hands on his IG stories. The Shade Room reported by saying, hash TSR clause, okay, looks like Drake got a fresh manicure with a nice design. Drake added fuel to the fire by posting a shirtless picture soon after. The public thought the spicy photo to be a definite thirst trap for the gay community. And uh, uh, Wayne is my favorite person to work with, though, because it's just, ooh, ooh, little Wayne, he's just too good. This suspicious chain of events brought attention to Drake's song, Girls Want Girls. This music masterpiece is known as the coming out song for Drake. A couple of years back, Drake's album, Certified Lover Boy, sparked plenty of conversations online as fans were convinced CLB was sure to bring the toxic relationship, Certified Lover Boy. But as fans took in the album track by track, one single made many pause and asked themselves, what did he just say? The said single featured Lil Baby and has left even the biggest of Drake fanatics divided. And as you can imagine, the critics went down on Drake without mercy. Talking out of shit that you done been through. Yeah, say that you a lesbian girl, me too. You see, right after the song's release, Drake expressed his feelings about Lil Wayne in a very dubious manner that raised eyebrows all over the world. And uh, uh, Wayne is my favorite person to work with, though, because it's just, ooh, ooh, Lil Wayne, he's just too good. Well, after hearing this, many were convinced that Drake was indeed gay but tried to hide it. According to Pink Villa, Drake was facing health difficulties at the time of the album release. Now we know that it is human nature that once he hits a rock, he starts to regret all of his past deeds. So it is quite possible that due to his ailment, Drake decided to come out of the closet in an attempt to be true to himself. Drake also indirectly admitted that he was very hesitant to release the CLB album, though he used his health problems as a disguise. I was planning to release my album this month, but between surgery and rehab, my energy has been dedicated to recovery. I'm blessed to be back on my feet and feeling great and focused on the album, but CLB won't be dropping in January. Well, the keen-eyed fans already knew what their idol's true sexuality was. When Drake came out as gay, I hope y'all aren't surprised. Another one added, I've been a little suspicious of him since the Degrassi days. Well, a fan even made an outrageous comment that Drake was being pushed to join the LGBTQ community for sales. It was only a matter of time before Drake turned into Bad Bunny to sell records. Take the gay out of hip hop. If homosexuality was natural, they wouldn't force rappers to be gay to sell records, and I'm tired of nobody talking about it. But this allegation was proved false when Salib Gaydar reported that Drake is thought to be gay by almost 60% of the public. To add to that, most of the male population believes that Drake's music is very feminine in its essence. We know that an artist's true self is reflected in his art, so maybe Drake unintentionally gave way to his inner self. I don't like his music because I think it's very feminine and it lowers your testosterone. But let's say Drake was gay or some sh Everybody like likes like Drake, at least a little bit. And more importantly, as opposed to what many may think, if Drake was to come out directly, many would stop listening to it and the sales would actually fall. The critics believe that even though we live in a free world, there is still prejudice against gay people in the entertainment industry. A lot of people would stop listening to him. That didn't change the quality of the music. Yeah. That's how subjective music is. Now, if that doesn't convince you, this will. In an interview with Lil Yachi, Drake was flabbergasted when he slipped that there were not only women, but people in his bedroom. There are women that do that. People in general. I mean, I would hope it's only women oh, that... No, <laughs> and let's not forget what Charlemagne said about Drake's sexuality. He more or less confirmed that Drake indeed played for the DL. Then Chris Brown aimed for the God Plans rapper. Brown appeared on the remix to Young Jeezy's R.I.P. 
in which he seems to take a shot at Drake over his recent single Started From The Bottom. On the track, Brown also hints that Drake should come out of the closet. He rapped, Dearly departed, I bought a plane, I departed slash, and if you started from the bottom, go on and come out the closet. Chris Brown even backed his jab in an interview with Sway in the morning. He said, it's all good. It's rap, man. It's hip hop. It's not going to escalate. It's like kitty rap right now. So as far as what I'm doing, I put my frustrations out in my music because I know ain't nothing finna happen. I say whatever I want. Rebuttals are going to be stupid. I'm not a rapper, so you're going to be stupid rapping back to a singer. The American singer later confessed that he never saw eye to eye with Drake. Chris explained that even though they are not on family terms, he had no intention of confronting Drake. In his interview with Hot 97, he said, for me, I don't want to talk about legally what's going on because I don't know the legal ramifications of it, so I'm just going to let my lawyers handle it. I don't get involved. Me and him don't see eye to eye. Me and Drake, I just think personally, it's just people you ain't going to get along with. I don't have to keep hashing on the subject. It's just we're never going to see eye to eye. You go your way, I'll go mine. Well, despite all of that, Drake did have many public relationships with other female celebrities. One of the most noticeable relationships Drake had was with Rihanna. The former couple were on and off for nearly 10 years when Rihanna decided to call it quits. After the split, Drake finally opened up about the breakup. He revealed that their relationship was nothing more than a business agreement. I was a pawn. You know what she was doing to me? She was doing exactly what I've done to so many women throughout my life, which is show them quality time, then disappear. He also got involved with Jennifer Lopez. They were linked at the end of 2016 after they posted a sweet Instagram photo. The rumored relationship didn't last long as they decided to call it quits after two months. It was said that one of the reasons was Rihanna Drake kept pursuing Rihanna while he was dating J-Lo. The list goes on and on for Drake, Cecilia Rose, Chantel Everett, Johanna Lea, Naomi Sharon, and even Nicki Minaj, who has been his close friend ever since. They were rumored to be in a relationship when Nicki did a lap dance for Drake in her music video, Anaconda. They even pretended that they were married and succeeded in fooling some fans. In 2010, the rappers joked that they were married, but it turned out to be the plot for a music video for Nicki's Moment for Life. Nevertheless, Drake told the Daily Beast she was someone he could spend my life with. But in October of 2017, Drake becoming a dad shocked the daylights out of everyone. He had a son with Sophie Brousseau. They kept him a secret for almost a year, revealing the reason in his song, Emotionless. The gifted artist wrapped his point of view on the big reveal. I wasn't hiding my kid from the world slash I was hiding the world from my kid slash from empty souls who just wake up and looked to debate slash until you staring at your seed, you can never relate. All in all, the fact that all of Drake's public relationships lead to a dead end and multiple celebs calling out Drake for being gay is more than enough to indicate the truth. If you think about it, the celebs move in the same industry, so their claims are far more credible than the public's opinion. As the saying goes, where there is smoke, there is fire. That's it for today, folks. Until next time, goodbye.